Hey beauties, morning to you, beautiful people. Now, I know we live in a world where predominantly the mothers are in the lives of the children. I'm not going to speak only, I'm not going to speak predominantly as it relates to whether they are good mothers or not, but they're in the lives of their children. So when we have Mother's Day, we celebrate it with all the balloons, all the confetti, all the fifi. And fair enough to all the wonderful mothers that deserve same. They deserve that level of treatment, hullabaloo, you know, the big splash, you know, because there's nothing like a mother's love. I think I, I now understand why God has allowed the women to stay in in contrast to the men like you don't predominantly have men staying in the homes and the women leaving you know there is a tenacity there is a stick to itiveness it's like relationships you find that the women don't even though they said that women will file for the divorce more but generally speaking a woman will st a woman will stay in an abusive relation like she's there is this st tenacity be it good be it bad it's like it's good and it's bad that women will stay the course they will take responsibility you know and because of that nurturing and i said if we think the world is horrible now you know because of bad parenting improper parenting sin you know evil wickedness the devil the demons all of these things you know elements can you imagine if it the, the roads were flipped and you had the men staying in and women gone lord of mercy <laughs> you probably could count the number of people that would remain on the, the planet murder the murder rate would be high you follow because there are certain characteristics that are predominant, that are, sorry, that are innate with women that only women can, can even show. I saw this tr trans guy, I don't know if he's trans or just dressed up as a woman, was saying, you know, I think he has to be um, kind of qualifying what he means when he says men are, um, women aren't as strong as men. I think they missed, they didn't, I know what he was saying, physically he's talking. He said, he said although you see me wear the makeup and the, the whatnot, you know, don't think I'm not a boy, I'm not a man. And, you know, he see women, how they're weak to certain things and they cry and they're physically weaker. So physically women are, he's right, physically women are weaker than men. <laughs> you know, physically they're weaker. And there's some things that even though they may exude feminine energy, they, because innately they are men, they can't understand certain things because they're just not a female. You know, and I think, and, and maybe it's a good thing that that guy actually spoke because I want the people to, who are not born a female to understand that you're not a female, even if you do all of the changes. Internal organs still is a feminine or they're feminine, all right? But I want us to celebrate the good fathers that are out there. There are good men out there. They may seem rare, like a precious stone or, 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 or jewelry, but there are good men out there. Make a hullabaloo in Father's Day. Not even only in, with Father's Day. But I just use that day. Since we set a day for them. Celebrate them. They like the TLC. They like to be treated. I know we cannot grow up in a, in a society where um, some women may say, Don't give the man any money. Don't buy anything for his man. He's big, him tough, all steering. Crofty man. Tough back man. It must is he must provide and all of that that has nothing to do with provision when you contribute go and read what proverbs 31 says you know she goes out and she seeks wool and she seeks this for her household so it's the children the husband you know she does quite a number of things for them for the man so it has nothing to do with you providing for the man what if he should fall on hard times you know what if he should fall on hard times what if we were to fall on hard times and things are not rosy financially for him? You're going to leave him out in the cold? You know that how God has made us, we can be down today and up tomorrow. Your house burned down today, you've built it up tomorrow. You're broke today, tomorrow you become wealthy. It happens, beautiful people. So we have to be careful of some of the things that are promulgated because they don't link back with the Bible. And when you don't follow that blueprint for life, we end up in problems, in worries, in difficulties, in arduous things. Even people who are not of the faith get up and say, boy, the Bible is a blueprint. It's right. Because when we do against it, we realize the folly. We realize that, you know, a lot of malevolent, nef nefarious, egregious acts are committed and happen. It can be proven that if you do what it says, you will see the blessing. You don't do what it says, you see the curse. So we have to be very careful 
in some other things you remember you know the bible says honor thy father and thy mother part of honoring is treated many tlc it's like i said to some men you see you know a lot of really masculine men let me put it that way believe that they must lotion their skin because it's feminine it's not feminine it's taking care of your skin maybe that's why someone will develop all sorts of skin disease and illness because the skin is so dry it has to force to produce oil and you're not you're not replacing it you're not replenishing it with something that is healthy and natural and good you know and your skin look coarse and tough you know as much as women like masculine men we, we don't like when your skin look like like we're looking at a crocodile or alligator skin that out in the sun and get a sun bath for, for how, how many hours the toughy toughy you know like you can when you scrape it you know like it's scraping um when them scaling fish you know stay bad stay horrible come on man but we need to celebrate the wonderful men because there are good men out there them far and few do you know because jamaican men as you know i try to speak balance in my message you know me beat and me teach you know we, we have to talk about everything holistically so you might hear me talk about love today then tomorrow faith in another day another day hope you know we have to we need to get back to the basics get back to you know treating women with respect treating women with honor and when we come across a number and it's not just young men and as a matter of fact the young one young men that i come across them tend to be a little better than the older ones the older men are horrible you are horrible you, you are men that you don't even want you, you don't even want the, the man to look you don't even want we don't even want you to look at us none at all don't even say hello that's how horrible you are that's how you make us feel but in spite of that we know that there are good men here older younger middle-aged you know older younger middle-aged older younger middle-aged we know that they are they may be far and few but they're around and we need to celebrate them lord them praise them and honor them and when i say praise meaning honor not like when you're praising god because i find that you have to qualify things for people you know not like when you're praising god so you do have wonderful mothers but you do have bad mothers you have wonderful fathers just as how you have the wayward and bad fathers and i'm going to tell you something men i don't think you understand i now figured it out when i saw this gentleman being interviewed on uh sim sim soul last evening this young guy who's a fashion designer or whatever he is uh, as well nice young fellow and I said, you can, his self-esteem was so low that um, Simone had to say, stop speaking like this. Say this about yourself. Stop it. And I said, I, I see the importance of having a father. There is something that only the father can just instill. Just as how there's own, there are only certain things that a mother can instill. That gentleness, that care. Um, it seems as if the father can own, it's only the father that can instill the right self-esteem in the child apart from god we know that it's ultimately god but on on in a human on a human level because i realize that even if you acquire money and you become famous the self-esteem is still singed because he said he never considered himself handsome and he's a and i'm like what but i've seen situations like that and when you check the background the father was not present sometimes they can be physically there but not doing the role and i realize that the father provides that security in your mind that uh self-assuredness you know that yes i can do all things through christ who strengthen me i can do this i am beautiful it takes twice the energy for the woman to do it or after a while when you keep speaking it in your life then you develop that but for the average person their self-esteem is low because the father is absent both physically and emotionally or some are there physically but they're absent emotionally so fathers, you see, the crisis and even crises that you create when you're not there, you see it? And what I would have hoped is that if you didn't get it, that you would come and say, I didn't get it, but I'm going to make a change. I said, with the grace of God, with the help of God, I'm going to make a change in the life of my daughter or in the life of my son. When you see a lot of broken people, because mainly because the fathers have been absent both physically and emotionally, or physically or emotionally. But anyway, we want to celebrate the good fathers and many blessings, and I pray the others will be rehabilitated. Guys, follow me on TikTok, 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this message, please.